So previously we've looked at arithmetic progressions in sequences like this 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, here it's starting at 3 and going up in 2's what we want to do now is to find a, a neat way to add up the terms in an arithmetic progression a situation um, that, that comes up uh, quite often for example you might be making every increasing payments on a loan and you want to know how much you paid off in total or something like that and there's a really neat way to do this and this will motivate a formula that will that will be able to use to sum up uh, the arithmetic progression. What I'm going to do is just see what happens when I write this down backwards so I'm going to have 13 plus 11 plus 9 plus 7 plus 5 plus 3 and now I'm going to add all of these numbers together so what I'm going to end up with is double what we've got um, in, the, in one sequence but it's nice because if we have a look at this 3 plus 13 here that's 16 5 plus 11 that's also 16, 7 plus 9, that's 16, 9 plus 7 is 16, 11 plus 5 is 16, 13 plus 3 is 16. So I've actually just got here 6 lots uh, six lots of 16, uh, which is 96. So what I want uh, for the sum of the, the sequence, the original bit just uh, that we had here, just that this bit here, would be a half of, of 96 or 48. And this works um, in general, you see, I've got six terms here, uh, and what I did was, if you take the first term and the last term, so let's say the first term is A and the last term is L, I can take the first term plus the last term, um, which is here 3 plus 13, and then I'm going to multiply that by the number of terms in the sequence divided by 2, because I've added it up six times here, but then, of course, that meant I counted it all twice, so I needed to, to divide by 2. Um, so uh, I could say if there are n things I'm adding up, that the sum will be n over 2 times the first, the first term plus the last term. I've got to do that a bit more formally, just to check that this works in general. Well, if I took that sequence a, a plus d, a plus 2d, and so let's say it's got n terms, so the last term here is a plus n minus 1d, the one before it is a plus n minus 2d. If I write this, if I write this uh, backwards, so I get a, a plus d, etc. Um, and actually let's just have, uh, and we can see that if I put this term here, so uh, a plus n minus 1d, actually it's got the same two terms here, and this one, so this one would also be a plus n minus 2d, uh, and a plus g, the same two terms as here, let's not worry about that term. Um, and when we add these together, what I get is a plus n minus 1d plus a, so I get 2a plus n minus 1d. Similarly here, when I add these together, I get a plus a, and I've got n minus 2d and another d, so overall we've got 2a plus n minus 1d. So actually when we add all these together twice, we get all of these are 2a plus uh, n minus 1d here as well, another one here. Um, so, so when I add this sequence together twice, I get n lots of 2a plus n minus 1d, and I've counted that sequence twice, so I just need to divide by 2. And well, this is another way of writing down the formula we had before, because you could write this as n over 2 times a plus a plus n minus 1d and a plus n minus 1d all of this bit is the is the last term in the sequence so we could also write this as n over t n over 2 times a plus l so two different ways of writing down the same thing there and this form although it's a bit more complicated is, is quite often uh, the use a uh, really useful one so let's say I wanted to do the sum from uh, k equals 1 to 10 of 3k plus 5. Right, well, so this sequence 3k plus 5, it just starts at 8 and goes up in 3s, 8, 11, 14, 17, etc. And I want to add up the first 10 terms. So what this is saying is, I don't need necessarily to write them all out and add them up, but I could just say, well, in this particular, this is an arithmetic progression, we've got the first term is 8, 
the common difference is 3. And now what's n? Well, it's how many terms we have in the sequence. So um, here I'm going from 1 to 10, so that's 10 terms in total, so I want n equals 10. So I could just plug in 3, 8, and 10 into this formula, so I'll get 10 over 2 times 2 times 8 plus n minus 1 is 9 plus 9 times 3 and that will give me the sum of the sequence so that's 5 times 16 plus 27 which is 5 times 43 which is 215 which is a bit less work than and in all up and you can see that that would be particularly useful if I've got a really long sequence that I want to add together it would be very tedious to add and you have to add all the terms individually so here's another one I want to do the sum from n equals 5 to 12 of 3n plus 7 um, so now I've deliberately made this uh, slightly confusing because this is often how questions are written because we've got this n here and this n is not the same as this n here but it shouldn't be too bad if you just think about what we're doing so what we want to do for this sequence is add up terms 5 to 12 of of this sequence here so my a here isn't just what I have when I put n equals 1 in here because I want to start at n equals 5 so I want 3 times 5 plus 7 that's 22 and then I want to uh, add on add up terms 5 to 12 so the next one would be 25 28 31 so if you like this sequence here starting at 22 has its first term 22 um, the common difference is 3, it's going up in 3's each time, that's that number here next to the, the n and now it's a slightly confusing bit, what is n? Now by n here I mean, you know, for, to use in this sequence, I mean the number of terms uh, that I'm adding up so how many terms are we adding up here? Well 1 to 12 would be 12 terms but I don't want the first four terms, I don't want 1, 2, 3 and 4, so it's 12 minus 4 which is 8 terms. Notice it's not 12 minus 5 which would be which would be 7 terms. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 that's 8 numbers. So we plug all of these then um, into the formula for the sum of an arithmetic progression um, and we get 8 over 2 times 2 times 22, that's 2a, plus n minus 1 is 7 times 3, so I've got 4 times 44 plus 21, which is 4 times 65, which is 260. And we could also instead have uh, used this, this formula here if we'd wanted to, we could have said uh, let's work out what the last term is, and when I put 12 in here that's the last term, so that's 3 times 12, that's 36 plus 7 is, is 43, so we could have L equals 43 and we could do it using this formula instead, so N over 2 is 4 and it's times the first term, 22, plus the last term uh, 43, which again gives us uh, 4 times 65, which is 260 obviously these two ways of doing things have to lead to the same answer otherwise one of them would be wrong so I've got the same conclusion either way there so that's how to sum the terms in an arithmetic progression